Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with the third episode of Fashion Expert Reviews, BTS Airport Outfits, and today it's time to talk all about J-Hope. I absolutely love J-Hope's style. It's out there, it's cool, it's streetwear, it is luxury. If you've not seen the previous two episodes of Fashion Expert Reacts, BTS Airport Outfits, I'll leave the playlist linked in the description box for you so you can check that out after watching this video. I upload videos here on my channel four times a week, so if you'd like to be notified of when I next upload Fashion Expert Reacts, which will be all about gin, then go ahead, press the subscribe button and turn on that post notification bell. Go on, I'll wait for you. As usual, if you enjoyed today's video, please do give it a massive thumbs up. It really helps me out when it comes to the YouTube algorithm. Let's get stuck into J-Hope. If this is your first time watching Fashion Expert Reviews, let me explain how this is going to work. I've got all of J-Hope's looks on the iPad. I'm gonna go through and talk references, designers, etc., And then I'm going to rate each outfit out of the wings. We're at the airport, wings, yep. I've also linked some of the items and similar styles in the description box, so if you want to check those out, they're there, ready and waiting for you. J-Hope look number one. I am living, living for this print clash. This is how you do a print clash. Print clashes can be really daunting, a lot of people don't really go for it, you know, they don't necessarily have the confidence to put it together or wear it but this is how you do it. J-Hope has got this plaid trucker jacket on, but if you look at the colors, we've got purples, blue, red, yellow, black, and then look at the color of his t-shirt, black, white, and red. So the colors of his t-shirt, even though it's a stripe print clashing against the plaid, all of the colors tie in together. Even the colors of his jeans tie in with the colors in the jacket. That is how you pull off a print clash. You make sure the colors work together if you're clashing the actual fabrics, like patterns, you know. Even looking at the accessories, the colors of the accessories and shoes tie into the colors of the jacket. The Balenciaga Triple S, the colors tie into the jacket. The beanie tie into the colors of the jacket. This look is very smart and that is why I love it. If you break down the actual pieces, they are very simple. We've got this oversized trucker jacket, the striped t-shirt, these jeans with the amazing turn up, and then the accessories add that pop. The triple S, the Gucci duffel bag, the beanie, it's so good. And then when I found this picture of J-Hope and Jimin, you knew I was like dying at this shit. The matching plaid, the denim with the turn ups, it's just too cute, too cute. I'm gonna give this look 10 wings. Straight off the gate, this is such a strong look. I love how he's gone all out there with the print clash and how the print clash works so well. That is impeccable style, great taste putting this together. It's just perfect. And the accessories as well. I want that Gucci bag, I want those shoes. I'm obsessed with this look obsessed. J-Hope look to, he is serving us this really cool Burberry-esque vibe, the Burberry bucket hat with this oversized trench coat, but this trench coat is so modern, like look at the gun flap, that is so oversized and it looks like a separate piece worn over the jacket, or at least that's how it's been sewn. Ah, oh, it's just so good, like the hat and the jacket together, very off-duty, casual chic, as we've said before, but this has such a strong element of streetwear in it. It's great, it's so good. And then we can see he's wearing a pair of denim jeans. They look like a cropped, I'm gonna go for a slim cut. Skinny wouldn't be that wide around the ankle, I don't think. Then we've got a pair of white Converse and this Saint Laurent tote bag with the bandana around it. It's just so tonal, so cool, so chic, so casual. Like it's just, I wish I could pull off a bucket hat because I would rob him of this look, but you know, I can't pull off a bucket hat. So J-Hope you bitch. I also really love the way his hair has been styled with this outfit. Like there's just a sense of like, I'm going through the airport, don't look at me, my hair's covering my face, but it just works so well, the bucket hat as well. I love this, I love this. I'm gonna give this look nine wings. I absolutely love it, but it's not as strong as the print clash look for me. And that was a 10 out of 10, so you know, just out of fairness, I can't give them the same rating, but I do love this outfit. 
I also think it would have looked really good with a chunkier white sneaker. I'm all into the chunky sneaker, so, you know, the first outfit was a, a banger. This is a banger too, but you know, I've got to be fair to the first look. <laughs> J-Hope look three, we've got this oversized blue number, and to me, this screams streetwear like those round, really bold sunglasses, low-key giving me a Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory vibe, the Stussy headband, the oversized shirt, the oversized joggers, the oversized platforms. There's something very whimsical and fun about this, not to mention that see-through bag. Like, it's just so much fun. What I love about this bag is all of the pins on it. We've got the Chanel brooch, the a cold wall pin, the safety pins. It just gives it such an edge. And then we can't forget this really cute little flower like popping out. It's just, it's cute, it's so cute. We can see as well that the joggers are a cold wall. They have that same logo as the pin. I really like that tie dye effect, but what I love the most is the oversized cuff and the steam detail coming down the front of them. It just makes them really interesting and different. This is a really cool outfit and I think he pulls it off so incredibly well. Like I could not pull off this outfit. I could not pull off the headband or like having everything so oversized, but he just does it like he's he's working it he is working it if i'm honest i'm not a huge fan of the sneakers i just they're just not for me like i'm quite boring when it comes to shoes i'm either like a neutral a white a black like anything really bold it, it's just not my personal taste it works really well the outfit and it gives it that extra edge and the extra color but personally i'm not the biggest fan of the shoe I'm gonna give this look eight wings. Like I said, this look is so cool. It's such a cool fit. He pulls it off so incredibly well. I just don't like the shoe. It's not to my personal taste. It works well with his outfit, but if I was gonna wear this personally, I would be in like a white chunky sneaker. You know, that's me. <laughs> J-Hope look number four. I love this coat. Like I love this this coat oh like it screams military in this khaki green and the collar detail is so cool like the shape of that lapel i've not seen a lapel like that before it is so angular so sharp it's beautiful this is a statement coat this is double breasted it's wool it's long the pocket detail reminds me of the white coat that i pulled out in my v airport outfits video if you've seen it, you know the coat I'm talking about. There's a similar quality there, but oh, I just love this. Like, to me, this is like the perfect airport outfit. He's got the cropped trousers, the hoodie that's comfy. He's got the Dior B23 sneakers on, which are just such a classic. And they blew up within like the streetwear community online. And what I love as well is that he's got this like matching Dr. esque like luggage bag that says US Army on it, or well, I can see US, assuming it's US Army. It just looks very similar. And we have to talk about the glasses he's wearing. He's giving me that like 70s aviator vibe. I love this look so, so much. And the pictures are so cute. Like he is working it for the camera like this, this, do you know what I mean? Like he's having a great time and I'm having a great time with this outfit too. <laughs> I'm gonna give this look 10 wings. I love the coat. I'm in love with the coat. I love the Dior B23 sneakers. To, like I said, this is the perfect airport outfit and a statement coat and a statement shoe. Like you can't go wrong. J-Hope look five, we have this all black look. I love the proportions. I really love that cropped wide leg trouser and it really shows off those Louis Vuitton sneakers. That is a statement sneaker and he knows what he's doing with those cropped trousers to show off that sneaker. Like, he knows. I also really love the long belt. It just adds like an exaggerated element to the outfit. We can see as well, he's got this slightly oversized fit t-shirt and then this black denim piece that looks like a denim jacket that's had the sleeves ripped off. And on the left-hand side of it, there is a print. It just brings that really interesting graphic element to an all black outfit. It's great. And we have to mention the black Chanel sunglasses. It's such a good shape on him. 
I was hunting the internet to find this Chanel sunglass and I just couldn't find it. I was so annoyed. <laughs> He's finished this look off with that see-through plastic tote bag again. It's such a cool bag. I'm not sure how I would feel about everyone seeing the contents of my bag, but you would just play everyone and put some weird shit in there, wouldn't you? Like, that would be the funnest thing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not going to the airport though, obviously. You would get in trouble. I'm gonna give this look nine wings. I love it. However, it's not as strong as the looks that I've given 10 wings to. So, you know, I've just got to be fair here. It's a great fit, it is really great. You honestly can't go wrong with all black and I love the fit of those trousers and how it shows off those Louis Vuitton sneakers. Smart boy, smart boy. The final J-Hope look is this oversized statement coat and this really shows you the power of a statement coat. I believe it's off-white. I can see a patch on the left sleeve that says off. I'm just guessing here. We can see in this shot here, he's got a black t-shirt on with some black joggers. Quite a basic outfit. He's got the Supreme beanie on. This coat just adds such like a drama and a statement. And it's just a statement coat. Do you know what I mean? It's just such an easy outfit. Perfect for the airport. I love it. I love the giant pockets on the front, the proportions of it, the way it comes out in this A-line shape. And it's this like caramel like teddy borg fabric it's so cozy like ugh. i like how saying it's so cozy like i've tried it on i've not but you know i would we can see that he's tucked his trackies with that white side stripe into his socks they look like champion socks and then i think he's got off-white trainers on i can't see the specific sneaker it is in the shots i don't really know that much about off-white sneakers but they look fairly plain white I don't know if they're like the one of the collaborations that they did last year with Nike, I think. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I'm gonna give this look nine wings. I love the statement coat and it shows the power of a statement coat. This outfit is so comfy as well. This would also be a great outfit just for like running errands at the weekend, you know, like it's a very versatile outfit. I love it. I absolutely love J-Hope's style. It's so cool. It looks so comfy. It's luxe. It's edgy. Like, oh, there's just so many fantastic elements. And I feel like at the end of this series, everyone's going to be like, so George, what BTS member has your favourite style? And I'm not going to be able to pick. Like, there are so many elements from Jimin's and V's and J-Hope's style that I love. And I can see myself in various outfits that they've worn so please don't ask me that when this series finishes because you won't get an answer basically let me know in the comments what j-hope outfit was your favorite but what you should do next is check out my fashion expert reviews playlist i'll leave a card in the screen up here for you guys but thank you so much for watching and thank you to everyone who has subscribed you are fucking brilliant and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys